here. Today we're going to go over the power routing on our JZ harnesses as well as the ECCS relay. This is going to be a video just like the Nissan one that we did earlier in the week. So we've got starter power here. It's a ring terminal. It's going to go on the battery positive stud on your starter. You do still need to supply the starter with 12 volts from the battery. So that's where our harness picks up power. Just for this demonstration, again, we're back feeding it using the battery through the interface connector. Now what we really want to go over is the operation of these two relays. Our JZ harnesses all have a fuel pump relay on them because a lot of the JZ cars have fuel pump controllers and everyone swapping these into their cars usually doesn't have the controller. So that's the reason this is on here. Now this is on all the time once you turn the ignition on. So on a JZ car, your fuel pump will be running once you turn the key. What we're gonna do is go ahead, I'm gonna supply ignition power, like we're turning the car on. So you heard this relay click, which is the ECU relay. Now this provides secondary power to the ECU and it also provides power to the idle, very much like the Nissan one does. Now the key difference here is this relay is supplied with 12 volts from the ECU instead of a ground. So what we'll do, we'll go over some testing. I've got it set to DC voltage. So on this red wire, we're seeing 12 volts. That's coming from our starter terminal there. This wire is going to be the output. That's going to go to the ECU and also to the idle control motor. This wire is going to be a ground. We'll just go ahead and demonstrate that it's grounded. So the brown wire on all our JZ harnesses is, is a ground. So now this wire is going to be fed with 12 volts from the ECU. So what we can do is we'll go back to DC voltage here. And we do see that it's providing voltage. Now, if I disconnect this, the voltage will drop and the relay turned off and the ECU powered down. So similar operation to the Nissan stuff. Main difference is it's 12 volts from the ECU instead of a switch ground. Works the same way. You've got 12 volts going into pin 85. The ground is on 86. That turns the relay on. Then power transfers from 87 to 30, which is gonna energize the ECU and the idle motor. So hopefully this will help you guys diagnose problems that you may be having with your builds. And that about sums it up.